Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Welcome to a trike adventure. Today I'm riding my uh, Mooncool 350. And I'm going to do a little trail riding today. So, yeah, we're going to ride the, the trike on the trail up here. I've already got a couple of reviews out on this, but uh, I wanted to get out and get one more review before I get the TK1 in, and that'll be in tomorrow, so I can uh, get that out as well. I don't think there is near the assembly that this bike had. Uh, this one probably took almost three hours to assemble. Oh, it, uh, it was a challenge, but we got it done. Turned my other camera on there. It uh, got the camera coming back on me as well. Got my GoPro camera up on the um, handlebars, and I've got my Osmo DJI. Got a little clicking in that back, and I think it may be the brakes. I'm not sure. Let me change gears and see if that helps. Yeah, I've uh, rode it a couple times. I've had some minor uh, noises on it, but I think it's just the basket, the way it's assembled, and uh, it's not a brake issue for sure. Might have a fender rubbing just a little bit as well. But yeah, we're cruising right along at 15 mile an hour like it's supposed to. I forgot to turn my app on for my wife, so uh, let me stop here and get my Strava app on. I normally uh, will forget to turn this app on, so she likes to follow me on the trail. more of a safety thing and uh, so there we go now we got it going again I'm not sure how far we're gonna go on today's ride I'll know more once I get going how the bike feels and what the battery's doing But no, I don't feel any tipping issues or flexing at all on this bike. Or, I'm sorry, trike. So it does not have those issues whatsoever. Now it does take a getting a little bit, getting used to the uh, handling of the uh, front wheel on this, obviously. And that's going to be with any trike that you, that you ride. You're going to notice that out of it. But once you ride for a while, you get very used to it and you know how much you've got to lean one way or the other if you're taking a sharp corner. But I don't take sharp corners quickly. I take my time when I do that. Well, today is Monday and it's hot out here today. It's uh, probably close to 90 here in Southwest Ohio. But riding a bike or a trike, you don't feel it because you got that breeze you're going right into. So that is not an issue whatsoever. Again, I'm supposed to get my TK1 in tomorrow. So I'll be assembling that and by in the afternoon, if I get it earlier enough, sometimes it don't get here to like 1.30 to 2.30, so if it comes in like 11.30 or something like that, I'll get it assembled pretty quickly and uh, we'll get it out and review it, do its first ride. Not official review, but a maiden ride. We'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, I'll tell you, this little 350 for $850 for this trike. So far, I've uh, reviewed three different trikes and this is by far the best I've reviewed yet.
handling of it, the comfort of the seat, the no tipping issues, the no flexing on the frame. Got a bunch of bikers coming up here. There must be a group ride here. Bunch of kids, probably from the STEM school, I'm assuming. At least they're making them all wear, wear helmets, which is good. Every one of them kids got helmets on. Good for that school. Quite a few of them there. Still got more coming. There's somebody not paying attention. Almost come right across the trail on me. That's why you got to be careful. So, I mean, sometimes these kids are just not paying attention to what they're doing. I'm glad I'm not following them because I had have I have a hard time trying to pass all of them, and uh, if me doing 15 mile an hour and them only doing nine to 10 mile an hour, that would be fun. But fortunately, they were coming the other way, so you got to remember on a trike that you just barely move that front tire. Um, it's very responsive to that move that you make. But again, once you get used to it, it's not an issue at all. Not sure which way we're going to go today. I may go towards downtown today. But I probably will be riding it back on the trail and not the uh, city ride back. I just don't want to uh, get a trike on the main road until I've ridden a little bit more, if that makes any sense. I'll try to find, see if we can get to the park that I like to go to and uh, we'll get the drone out and do a little bit with it. Here's our two and a half mile marker right here. It's got uh, pretty good torque to get across the intersection for sure. So I'm very happy with that. It does take the motor just a little bit once you're uh, not pedaling in order to engage. That's kind of normal. Again, this has got a front hub motor instead of a rear. I've probably got 40 to 45 miles total on this, I think. Actually, uh, I may have 24.2, it could be even closer by looking at my uh, display. I think that's on the uh, total mileage. Yeah, all I did is just brought this right out of the rafters. As I mentioned, I have this one on a chain hoist, and uh, I just dropped it right down out of the rafters. I can actually walk right under this one. So yeah, if you guys uh, want some interesting uh, ways to storage your bike, and if you don't have a ceiling in your garage, that it's mostly rafters and joists, you should be able to use a, um, a chain uh, hoist which will uh, hold up to 2,000 pounds so but I bought uh, three of those so far and I've got a fourth one for my uh, Komoda my side rusher Komoda I did mount a little bit differently but I like these chain hoist a lot better they're easier for me to get up and down yeah it's a beautiful day out here again I got my backpack in my back basket I've also had another company reach out to me um, I'm waiting on shipping information from Natco on an uh, e-bike they're going to send me. And another company reached out to me for a trike. I uh, reached back to them. Of course, we're on opposite time frames that they are. They're in China. So uh, when I text them, it's their nighttime. So 
I texted her, told her I'd most certainly like to review one of their trikes, and they're supposed to send me some shipping information on that. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting another trike in, which means I'll have to create another pulley system to get it up in the rafters, which I will do that because the footprint of these trikes take up a lot more room than a, a regular bike does. So uh, yeah, you got to keep that in mind when you're um, storing these things. I've seen a couple comments on the, on the Facebook page for uh, Moonkool that people were noticing they're kind of leaning left a little bit when they're riding, and that could just be the terrain of the, um, the either the road you're on or the trail because I've noticed this when it kind of, um, this uh, rail trail kind of uh, slopes to the right up. And so I am having to lean just a little bit to, that way in order to uh, feel like I'm balanced on the bike, shall we say. But the, with that said, once you ride this thing for five miles, you'll get pretty used to it and what it can do. And, how to handle turns and things like that. It's somewhat of a learning curve on a trike. It's a different feel for sure than it is a regular e-bike. And all the uh, influencers out there, the creators, they'll all tell you the same thing. But today I'll probably just uh, go on down to the park that I'm gonna uh, do the uh, drone footage on it. It's another, um, probably another three miles to get to that area. I'm not sure I'll be going on downtown. I'll get plenty of video um, just by doing this ride. And I will edit this down as well where it's not so long. Adjust my one handlebar camera there just a little bit. Nice person let me through there. Little possum just run off into the woods there. I'll show you an area here uh, that we'll bring our 26 inch fat tires down here. And uh, you can see all these hills right here. Yeah, we take our 20 and our 26 inch fat tires and uh, come down here and have fun. Uh, of course, I will not begin to take a trike and put it on that situation, put it in that situation, obviously. It's kind of fun. Check this burnout motor home up here. Been there for a good while now. I bet you this thing has been here a year, but uh, yeah, you can see it. Uh, Pretty much to burnt that thing up. See it on my uh, chest mount camera for sure. Steering wheel still on the vehicle. Peaceful, quiet trail that uh, winds around uh, just outside town here. And then I'll have to cross the main road up here to get back on the bike trail. And then it'll take us. Um, into a metro park, shall we call it. And that's where I'll get off and uh, do some drone coverage on it. And probably keep my chest mount camera on as I'm doing that. Maybe my handlebar camera, I may keep that one on as well. You will have a drone flying uh, with them blades for sure. But it gives some really uh, good footage of me riding the trike and what it looks like. So yeah, we'll do that. Let me know how many of you folks out there own trikes, uh, which one you own. I know the uh, Moon Cool um, Facebook page Boy, there are a ton of people that own these things. Let me tell you. 
It must be the most popular trike out there from what I can tell. I know, <coughs> excuse me, electric sells a lot of them. Ad motor sells a lot of them. But I really think that uh, Mooncool's got a good share of the market. Come through this area up here last time and two cars come through here and I had not seen a car come through here in months. And that's exactly why I stop at all these stop signs for that exact reason. And here comes a truck and another car coming through. So two, day, two times in a row I've had people come through here. Just kind of odd to see that right there for sure. Yeah, for what they have this uh, trike priced at at eight fifty. Uh, remember, I've got a discount code also where you can save some some more money down in my description box. And if you guys order this trike or any trike that I'm reviewing for that particular company. I will also send you a free bike accessory once I know that you ordered that off my channel. And I will ship you a free bike accessory only in the lower 48 states, but I will do that for you folks, just to say thank you for ordering that. Here's where we gotta cross. Gotta be careful here because there's trucks and stuff that are in the way. Really can't see the area cars are coming up to. I like these leisurely slow rides and that's what's good about a trike. You're only going to do 15 mile an hour. There's some will go 20 but I'll be honest with you the 20 mile an hour on a trike is too fast in my opinion. I really think uh, 15 mile an hour should be the limit on these things. There is no need to go any faster than 15 mile an hour when you're on a trike. It does not handle like a bicycle does, does not handle like a regular e-bike does, so that's why I say that. We'll be turning left into the park here. Yeah, there's an open area that I can get on when I get up here that'll uh, that'll get me um, to where I can uh, fly the drone and get some good footage. Boy, we got a lot of bikes down here again. I noticed crossing the little uh, river here. Looks like a bunch of them get ready to head over the bridge here. They're all just kind of, I think I can beat them to the bridge here. They all look like they're just about to come over the bridge. That's the stuff right there I'm talking about. Remember when I talk about situational awareness? Right there it is. He'd have kept on coming. If I wouldn't have hit my brakes, he would, he'd heard those. If I wouldn't hit my brakes, he'd have clobbered right into me. These kids do not pay attention. So that's two set of bike, bike riders I've seen. Uh, looks like two different schools. At least they're all wearing helmets. I'm kind of amazed that's the case. Got a little squeak in these brakes. I'm gonna have to uh, clean those rotors a little bit, I think, with some rubbing alcohol. That helped when I did the um, cruiser bike the other day, so I'll probably have to wind up doing it on this one as well. This is a little metro park here that I uh, have a lot of events throughout the summer and Good little area to come and ride down. We're not too terribly far from the Air Force Museum, the National Air Force Museum. I haven't been there in years, and it's right in my backyard, but yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff in there. President's planes and a lot of rockets and missiles. They got all kinds of stuff in there. World War II stuff. I think they even go back into the Korean War. 
Yeah, I think I got a back fender there rubbing a little bit. Didn't do it the other day when I was on it. But I'll be checking that out once I get the drone out up here. I'll be cutting right off up here, the little area that I really like to go into and uh, get my drone out. So I'll go up a little bit here, maybe before we start all that. Alrighty, I'm going to get off this thing just a second and I want to take a look at that um, fender back there. See if I'm getting a little bit of uh, rubbing on that. I don't think that's it. No, it all seems to be off of that. It could be the basket as well. I'm not too terribly worried about it. But yeah, let me uh, get the drone out here, folks. We're going to do a little footage here. Bought an extra battery just in case I need it. But you guys can see um, how much storage is in this back uh, basket here. It's pretty phenomenal. And here's a better looking uh, part of the bike here that you can see. And uh, I'm going to uh, get my picture here as I can for a um, thumbnail as well. So bear with me just a second. We've come 5.20 mile right now. Pretty good. Average speed about uh, 12.73 in about 25 minutes. So yeah, let me uh, get the drone out here and we'll get a little footage here. We'll start out here with a little bit of follow mode and then we'll uh, swip it, switch it up to be in the front of me. So you'll be able to see what the uh, bike looks like here. So yeah, let's give it a go. Stop. I don't do, if I can do about 12, 10 to 12 mile an hour, this drone will be okay. But once I get up to about 15, uh, it'll lose connectivity uh, with me. It'll just hover right there and drop. So uh, we're going to see what it does here. Cut into the parking lot here a little bit. Tell where that click is. Make sure all them bolts are tightened down good back there on that basket as well. Yeah, there's a little follow mode for you folks. You got to see that. So uh, we'll get it up here and we'll stop it and uh, put the drone out in front of us as well. As you can see, that thing just lands right in your hand. Now let's change the mode on it. Orbit. We're going to do an orbit mode here. I'm going to get the bike out a little farther so it don't hit anything. Yeah, let's do a little orbit mode here. 20 feet. Orbit. You can see the drone's about to take off here. It's getting its coordinates and uh, it'll go out about 20 feet and then it'll start uh, doing a complete orbit and it will com come back exactly where it took off from. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't have an emergency brake on this bike, so it'll kind of roll on you if you're not careful. But yeah, you guys can get a good view of the uh, the drone there going around. Pretty cool. And it'll come right back over here uh, about another 10 feet, and it's going to stop, and it's going to come back in. Right there is where it started from. See how there's your... Uh, there's your orbit mode for the drone. Land right back in my hand again. We're gonna do the uh, bird's eye here, I think. Let's see if I can get this on my one camera. I can't see it, but you probably can on this. And uh, once it goes up to its full 50 feet, it will come right back down in my hand again. I think it might have got to its uh, optimal height there. Kind of in the sun there, so I can't see a whole lot. But it's starting to come back down now.
Again, it'll come down and land uh, pretty close into my hand here. There's that one. Now we'll do the uh, side track here. Custom side track. This will be uh, flying alongside of me here as I'm uh, riding the bike. Standard side track. I'll wait till it gets it caught up here a little bit, and it'll. Uh, It'll just start uh, side following me right along the uh, side here. It's supposed to. It might be in the rear right now. I think it lost contact of me is what it did. Yep, it did. Let me see if we can uh, see if it'll pick me up here. Nope, it's going to go down to the ground. It uh, lost contact, so it's just going to land. But fortunately, it didn't take off somewhere. Let's try that again. Standard side track. See if it behaves any better. There we go. Seems to be doing a little better there. You guys get a good side view of the drone here. Go back through the grass here and see if it'll stay with us. I think it went to follow mode. All right, the last one we're going to do is uh, dolly mode, which is, stays out in front of me here. It's going to go out and do a snapshot here. And this is the mode that'll stay out in front of me. Standard dolly track. Here we go. My controller shut off here. Think I had it setting too long, I guess. All righty, now it's doing the dolly track for me. Yeah, I've got definitely a noise on that right uh, side of the trike in the rear. I think that's probably a bolt coming loose or something. It only does it intermittently. Doesn't do it all the time, but something's going on there. Not to figure that out. See if I can cross this intersection. I will not be stopping here because I don't want somebody to slam into my drone. So we're going to go forward here. Got pretty close to me there. It does a good job of staying under branches and it does a really good job following you when you're in the woods where It'll pretty much uh, stay away from trees and stuff, even though it does not have an avoidance collision uh, mode on it to detect that, but it still does an extremely good job doing that. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So we'll fly it up here just uh, for a couple minutes, and I want to thank you guys for uh, staying and watching this long video. You got to watch the drone uh, in action and got to see the bike and me riding it. But yeah, if you got any questions, put them down in the uh, comment section for me. Again, let me know what uh, kind of uh, trikes that you guys ride and that you own. I'd be interested to know that. We're going to fly in this little area right up here. And uh, as you can see, all the cottonwood on the right looks like snow. But we'll be uh, stopping the drone right up here. But yeah, it's been a fun adventure. For, it's been a trike adventure today, for sure. And yeah, it, uh, let me know what you guys think. We're going to stop the drone right here, and uh, it'll slow down. And as soon as I wave my hands, it'll pick it up. It's actually coming back in now, so it's pretty much done. As soon as I wave my hands, it will come back in, like just like that. So yeah, there's your uh, drone. Again, it's called the Hover Air X1. Folds right up and goes in your pocket. Like I always say, it's kind of like having a cameraman in your pocket, is what it is. 
it makes my um, my footage so much uh, better where I can actually have the instead of having another rider with me I can have the drone uh, picking up some of the action and some of the riding that I'm doing so I really like that but yeah we're just gonna head on back now I'm gonna check out the video right now so yeah Share, like, uh, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys on the next video.